Hello, welcome back to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to take ownership of your SD card on OpenTX like a boss. Recently I did a video on upgrading the firmware and I kind of glossed over the SD card contents mainly because I didn't want to foul up my SD card because it was all set the way I want it. And then the question started. And then I realized very quickly that just because I'm comfortable managing SD card contents that doesn't mean everybody else is. So that's why I'm making this video. The idea is to teach you how to take control of your SD card on OpenTX. My game plan today is to teach you how to start with a completely fresh SD card, get the correct SD card contents for your firmware, extract it to the card, and restore your radio settings and your model settings to that new card. Before I go any further, if you're comfortable managing SD card contents, there are other ways to do this. I'm going to show you what I consider to be the most foolproof way. So if you're not comfortable manipulating files and backing things up, I'm going to show you the method that I feel presents the most minimal risk of loss of your model settings and images. Okay, so there are six steps in order to complete this process. Number one, we have to download and install Companion. Number two, we have to download the correct SD card contents. Number three, we have to connect our radio and back up our models and our radio settings and images. Number four, we have to format our new SD card. Number five, we have to extract the correct SD card contents to the new card. Number six, we have to restore models, radio settings, and images to the new card. And then Bob's your uncle to steal from our British friends. Now, you don't have to have a new SD card to do this. You can, wherever I talk about the new SD card, you can substitute your existing SD card. You don't have to buy a new one to do this. I'm just going to show you this method because it also covers those of you who want to upgrade your SD card. I found out after digging into the radio a little bit that the SD card that's in the radio is only 256 megabytes. It's pretty small. So if you decide you want to upgrade it, you want to add more images or whatever, you can. this, this process will let you upgrade the card. Okay, so let's get into the steps. Number one, download and install Companion. The easiest way to find Companion, and I will put links in the description, but the easiest way to find it is to click OpenTX Downloads and then click the very first link that shows up. And I'm on OpenTX version 2.3.9, so that's the one I'm gonna select. And you can see right here, OpenTX Companion 2.3.9 for Windows. Click that, click Keep. And when that's finished, just run the installer. And I already have this installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna go through it again, but just click Agree, Next, 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 and Install Companion, okay? Very simple from this point on to get Companion installed. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the SD card content. It's right above the OpenTX Companion, it's right here. You see this, oh, SD card content. Let's go ahead and grab that, click on it, and look for your radio. In my case, it's the OpenTX16S. If you have a Jumper T16 or a Turnigy 9XR Pro or a Tyrannus X90 Plus, it's all right here. But in my case, it's the TX16S. I'll grab that. And I always want the latest version. So SD card, so SD card 2.3 version 0029, that's the one I want. We'll click that and download it. And then while that's going on, we'll go ahead and get into Companion. Okay, step number three is to connect our radio and back up our models, our radio settings and images. So in order to keep this process consistent for everybody, I'm gonna use the bootloader mode. And the way you do that is on your rudder and aileron trim switches, you pinch them together inboard. So T4 and T1, they're pinched together, and then we power on the radio. And then you'll see we wind up in what's called bootloader mode. Don't, you don't need to mess around in the screen at all. Just leave it there. And now, now that we're in bootloader mode, I'm gonna connect my USB cable to the top port of the radio up here. That's the USB-C. 
and you'll see on the desktop we have a couple of windows pop up. The one that says firmware, close it, just leave it alone. And the one that says USB drive, we're just gonna minimize that for now. Okay, the next step in OpenTX Companion, on the left-hand side, there's a button right here that says read models and settings from the radio. Okay, so let's click that. And what that'll do is take our current model and radio settings off of the radio. And then we'll save it somewhere where we can remember it. So I'm gonna just save this on my desktop and we're gonna call it TX16S Models and Radio Backup. It's right there on the desktop. Okay, the next step regarding images, you only need to conduct this step if you've done any work putting model images on your radio. In my case, I have. So I've got a picture of my Millennium Master there. I've got a picture of the MX2. I've got my Skylark and my Sport. So if you've done work saving images to your card, then you wanna go ahead and back up your images folder to your computer as well. So I'm gonna right click on this and drag this to my desktop and notice how it says copy to desktop. It doesn't say move, it says copy. All right, so I'm just gonna copy that to my desktop and drop it right there. Okay, with that, we've got everything that we need off of the radio in order to conduct a safe migration to a new SD card or a formatted SD card with new SD card contents. The next step is to format the new SD card. I've already got my new SD card in the computer and you can see it's SD card E and I've got a couple of folders in there that I wanna get rid of, so this is a new card we're going to erase it and get rid of it and start from scratch in order to do that you right click on the sd card over here on the left hand side and then click on format and we want file system fat 32 you can leave the allocation unit size alone put a label in i put a label in on mine tx16s quick format is fine and we'll hit start you get a warning saying, hey, you're about to blow away this card. That's fine. Let's blow it away. It's gone. Okay, format's complete. Now I should have access to this card com being completely blank. Okay, step number five is to extract our SD contents to our SD card. So I'm going to click on the new SD card here on the left, and I'm going to open our SD card contents archive and put that over here on the right. So now the next thing is hit extract all, and I'm gonna choose the location to be our new SD card. I'll hit select, show extracted files when complete. That's great, we'll hit extract. We'll let Windows do its thing, unpacking the SD card contents archive to the new SD card. While Windows works on unpacking the card contents over there, I'm gonna disconnect the radio from the computer and I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna hit exit, and it should reboot, but we're gonna shut the radio off. Okay, now that the radio is shut off, I'm gonna pull the old SD card out. And you need a blade or something to get this thing out. There's really, it's really in there. So you can, here's the SD card. I'm just gonna take my razor, tip of my razor blade and just give it a little press and let that pop out of there. And notice that the metal tabs face up. They face toward the LCD screen. All right, so that's my original SD card. I'm going to set that aside now. And when Windows is done, we will take the new card out and put it in its place. Okay, we're ready to move on to step number six. And in step six, we're going to restore our models, our radio settings, and our images. Notice that I've already got an images folder on the new SD card. That comes with the stock contents, but I've done some work saving my own images, so I wanna make sure they get put on the card. So I'm gonna drag my images from the desktop onto the new card. Windows will issue some warnings. That's fine. It's gonna complain about overriding things. That's okay. Fifty-one files with the same name, that's fine. I'm gonna hit replace because I want what was in my folder to take precedence. Okay, we've got our images moved over. Now we're gonna take the SD card out of the computer and put it in the radio.
Now remember, when you put this SD card in the radio, the metal tabs go up toward the display. Slide that in there. You've got long enough fingernails, you might be able to do it. I need a little help with a razor blade to push mine in. Just push until you hear a click. There you go. That's it. Okay, the next thing we want to do is boot into bootloader mode again. So hold the two trim switches, rudder and aileron, inboard and press the power button. And if you do it right, you should see that you boot into bootloader mode. Open TX bootloader right there. All right, now we'll connect our USB cable to the top of the radio. And back on the computer, we'll see a couple of windows pop up. We can ignore the firmware window, stay out of there. And you can minimize the other window. We're not going to be working in there. Okay, the final step in number six is to restore your models and settings to the radio. One thing I learned while filming is if the models and radios directory doesn't exist, I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So if they don't exist and you try and write your models and settings to the radio, you get this error, unable to find radio SD card. The easy way to solve that is just go in the D drive and create a new folder called models and then create a new folder called radio. With those directories created, we come into companion and on the left hand side, the red arrow that aims down says write models and settings to radio. Once you click that, companion will take a few moments. They don't give you any status, but it'll take a few moments. It'll write your model settings and your radio settings to the radio. You can confirm that's done by going into the D drive and looking in your models folder and you'll see all your models listed. And then if you look in your radio folder, you'll see a couple of files there as well. One for models, one for radio. Here's a quick little pro tip. In the models file in the radios folder, if you click on that, that's your organization for your folders on your model selection screens for Balsa, Jets, Sports, and Warbirds. So you can name those in here and you can move models around if you want to. So I appreciate you staying till the end of the video. And because you did, I'm gonna show you another cool trick. I'm gonna plug the radio back in and I've got a prompt that says joystick or storage. I'm going to click storage. And that's going to bring up my SD card window in the computer. And I'm going to come into the sounds folder and I'm just going to delete all of this stuff. It's all gone. All of it's gone. While that's working, you want to go to this link and I'll put this in the description, but go to this link and there's a Amber sound pack right here at hmvc.eu. You click on that, you'll see I've got this downloaded Amber file. It is a RAR file, so you'll need software to unpack a RAR file on Windows. But when you open that, it's gonna extract everything. And we're just going to drag this EN folder into our sounds folder on our SD card. And what that does is it installs the Amber sound pack, which is excellent. It's got all kinds of prompts and it just sounds better than the default OpenTX audio prompts. So let that run for a few minutes and we'll show you what it sounds like. All right, now that that's unpacked, we've got the Amber Sound Pack installed on our radio, and you can just click on any of these to hear it. Deployed. Yeah. I'm going to cut you. <laughs> I'm going to cut you. <laughs> Cruise mode. Cruise mode. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go, guys. That is it. So I'm going to unplug the radio. I'm going to flip my rates to make sure that I hear the amber sound pack. Low rates, middle rates, high rates. There we go. Okay, that's everything I've got. That is complete management of the SD card on OpenTX for your radio. This was a TX16S example, but everything you saw here will work on Tyrannus, Jumper, or any of the other OpenTX radios for the most part. There might be some little nuances on bootloader mode and that type of thing, but you just 
got a first-hand look into how to start with a completely fresh SD card and get your radio up and running on that SD card. Hey, one last quick thing. I'm happy to report that we crossed a new threshold on the channel and for the first time ever, my subscribed versus unsubscribed views dropped below 70%. So what that means is that 69% of you guys are not subscribers. So come on, hit the button. You, that's a lot of views that are coming through this channel for people who aren't subscribed. So come on, hit that button and join the channel. Become a channel subscriber. Help me grow the channel. I would appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the content today, guys. That's all I've got. Take it easy.